half angle formula applications. In this set of videos, we will first derive the half angle formula from a double angle formula and then see its applications. Right? Now, let me remind you about the double angle formulas which we got from compound angle formulas. Right? So, we found that cos of 2 theta could be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1. And we'll use this formula to derive our half angle formulas, right? Let's rearrange this. So we get we can bring one here and then we get one plus cos of two theta is equals to two cos square theta, and then it is one plus cos two theta divided by two is cos square theta. Now we can square root it. When we square root, it is plus and minus. One plus cos two theta divide by 2 over the square root is cos theta. So that is how we get cos theta in terms of 2 theta. Now we'll do a small substitution. It's like this. Let 2 theta equals to a. Then what is theta equals to? Then theta equals to a by 2. And that is what is half angle. Do you see that? So this theta will replace by a by 2 and 2 theta by a and rewrite our formula. So let me write cos theta on this side with a. Okay, So cos theta is a over 2. So I can write this as cos of a over 2 equals to plus and minus square root of 1 plus cos a divided by 2. This is the half angle formula in terms of cosine which we are talking about. Correct? And now you can see if I can relate theta with half of its value then I can use my special triangles to find values of half of their angles. Correct? Since 15 is half of 30 we'll use our special triangle which has 30 in it. Right? Now this special triangle has 30 here this is 90 degrees, the sides are 1, 2 and square root of 3. So what is cos of 30? Cos of 30 is square root 3 over 2. So we know cos 30, we can find cos 15, correct? So that is how we will find cos 15, see? Cos 15 degrees is equals to cos of 30 degrees divided by 2, right? So instead of A, we will write 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15, correct? So we can see here cos of 15 degrees is therefore equal to plus and minus square root of 1 plus cos of 30 degrees right divide by 2 do you see that so we use a by 2 is 15 right 30 by 2 is 30 so we can use this half angle formula to calculate the value of cos 15 degrees right now what is cos of 30? Cos of 30 is square root 3 over 2. So we get here square root of 1 plus square root 3 over 2 divided by 2. We can take common denominator and then say well it's 2 plus square root 3 divided by 4. This could be written as plus and minus half of square root 2 plus square root of 3. Now, plus and minus gives us two values, but cos 15 is in quadrant 1. And in quadrant 1, it is always positive. And therefore, we will take the positive value and not the negative value. So we get our answer as cos of 15 degrees is equal to half of square root 2 plus square root 3. So this is the exact answer, correct? So we have given our answer in exact value. Next video, we will derive the same formula for sine 2 theta and then we'll use combination of these formulas sine over cosine to get tan half angle formulas right so so we'll get half angle formulas for both i mean for both sine cosine and then eventually by cos by the ratio we get for tangent right and then we can find all values of half of the angles of special angle triangles using this method so that is one of a huge application of half angle formulas. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you.